you played both league and union when you were younger. Why was that the case? And did you always know you'd eventually play both and turn professional? Um, to be fair, I was always heading the rugby union route, um, but the first opportunity came up with rugby league um, with Melbourne Storm. Um, I think I was 15 at the time, and you know it was it was one of those things that you just take it, you just take it on board, and you you do what you need to do. Especially from where I was, where I was, where I was born and where I was raised, um, any opportunity to provide for my family and um, you, you'll take it. So I didn't look back as soon as I accepted the contract. And I think it was, wasn't was leading into my, probably my fifth year that I decided to have a look back into Rugby Union. Um, and now we're here. When you were making that transition, there were obviously going to be sceptics on both sides of the game. What advice would you give yourself now when looking back at that moment? Um, I think patience. I think... I maybe have rushed a few decisions here and there um, based on situations that I thought that was in my kind of life at the time. Um, but yeah, patience, I think, you know, being patient with the teams, patience with the, obviously my, my play, my playmates as well. Um, and just, I think being patient with the process, I think I, I quite rushed into a lot of things as well. Um, so yeah, I think that's the biggest advice I'll give myself going back. And you're an ambassador for mental health awareness and you do a lot to help young players in the community as well. I just want to know why is it so important for you personally to target those areas in the position you're in? Um, I think because obviously at their age I was well and truly like oblivious to what comes with the title of being a professional rugby player. Um, so just giving them a heads up of the decisions and outcomes that will come from any little choice that they do make throughout their career. Um, so I think that's why it's quite important for me to, you know, just give a bit of advice here and there, make sure that they, um, they're in tune with what, you know, they're going to come face to face with. Um, it's quite an ugly but beautiful thing to be in, being a professional rugby player. And I think, I just hope that the young players coming through can understand that. Who would you say has been the most influential person shaping you as a player and as a man in this journey so far? Um, that's a tough question. It can be um, two separate people as well, because obviously it's, it's, it's two different scenarios really, isn't it? Yeah, I think a lot has to go with Ollie. Um, we've done a lot with um, obviously my my spiritual awareness um, and then my mental awareness, Mick Farrell, that we've um, got here at, at the club. They're the two probably the biggest people that I've had around me at the times where I've needed them most when I've been at sale. How easy do you find it to filter out people's opinions? Because you know there will have been people who would have been saying negative things about you at the beginning of the season and then they quickly turn into positives. So do you do you look at people's opinions? Do you take them in? Do you use them as motivation? How do you do that? You'll be lying to say if you didn't look at them at all and you didn't, it didn't affect you at all because I did. Um, I knew I wasn't playing well. I knew my form wasn't where it needed to be. Um, and obviously having a lot of off-field stuff at the time, hindered my performance as well. Um, so I think it's a, it's a myth when people say that it doesn't affect them at all. But, you know, it's, it's part of our game. If you, don't, if you don't have criticism, if you don't have anything like that, then you're not in a professional era. Um, you know, it's all around professional athletes at the moment, even like water polo. Like, not that it's in, insignificant, but you know it, it ranges. So for us to have what we do, it's it's it's, it's what comes with the game. And obviously, it's very much a, a team sport. But the accolade of 
getting the top scorer. I know there was joint in that title. Are you looking to take that joint aspect out of the title and be leading the pack next year? Um, yeah, I would hope so. I would hope so. Um, like I say, it's not all about me as well. You know, it's a team sport, but you know, it's it's what comes down to all the players doing their own jobs individually, and it ha just makes my job a lot easier. And finally, what would you say are your biggest motivations for success in in sport and in life in general? I think for myself and my family. I think my family have been through this journey as well with me um, since since day one. Um, they deserve every achievement that I get as well um, and they deserve every, every single praise I give them.